In this poem, we're told a 92 kilogram water skier floating in a lake is pulled from rest to a speed of 12 meters per second and a distance of 25 meters. What is the net force exerted on the skier, assuming his acceleration is constant? So the first thing you always want to do is draw what's going on. So we have the skier whose mass is 92 kilograms, and they're going to be starting at rest, right? And then they're going to get pulled 25 meters, and then at this point, their velocity is going to be 12 meters per second, and they're still going to have the same mass. So what we want to do is solve for the net force. So in order to solve for the net force, you use Newton's second law, which tells us that force is equal to mass times acceleration, or the net force is equal to mass times acceleration. So if we want to find the net force, we need the mass of our object, right? In this case, it's going to be the person, and their mass is 92 kilograms, multiplied by their accelera uh, acceleration throughout this interval. And so keep in mind, we don't have this, and that's what we're going to be solving for uh, to find the force. So how do we find the acceleration? So the way we're going to do it is by using kinematics, and we're going to use the variables that they give us in order to solve for uh, acceleration. So what information are we given? We're given the initial velocity of the person, right? So they're starting at rest. We know they're going to travel a distance of 25 meters, right? And then at the end, their final velocity is going to be 12 meters per second, right? And what you should notice is that we have three kinematic variables, meaning what we can do is solve for acceleration. So all we got to do is just plug these three kinematic variables into a formula, and we can solve for the acceleration. So you should be pretty familiar with kinematics by now, but the equation we're going to use is this one right here. V squared is equal to V sub zero squared plus 2A times delta X. So uh, we have V, we have V sub zero, and we have delta X, meaning all we have to do is plug them in and we can solve for A. So let's go ahead and do that. So V is 12, so this is going to be 12 squared, which is just 144, which is equal to V sub zero squared, which is just zero squared, which equals zero, is equal to two times A, we leave A because that's what we're solving for, times uh, delta X, which is 25. So this is just going to be 144 equals 2 times 25 is 50. So 50A, and then just divide by 50. So 144 divided by 50, that's going to be the acceleration. So when you go ahead and do that, you'll get 2.88. So A equals 2.88, and then the units are going to be meters per second squared. So now we have the acceleration, and all we have to do is just plug it in or multiply by the mass, and essentially we're going to get the net force. So plugging it in, it's going to equal the 92 multiplied by 2.88, which is our acceleration. So you want to do 2.88 times 92, and when you do that, you get F, or the net force, is equal to 264.96. And so this is in kilograms, this was in meters per second squared, so the units are going to be newtons. When you multiply these together, you get newtons. So 264.96 newtons, uh, you can round to 265 newtons if you'd like, uh, just make sure you round however your teacher wants you to. But basically 265 newtons, that's going to be the net force exerted on the skier, uh, right? So this is your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.